Hey guys, welcome back to Crown Geek. This is Shabazz. In this video, I will be explaining that how to boost processor or CPU speed on Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you have the same problem where your PC, your processor, and the performance is very slow and is not as per your expectations, so what exactly you can do? I'm going to share three or four simple steps that you need to apply on your PC on the settings and that will be surely bring some changes on your performance. Now keep in mind that this won't be through any kind of software and there will be no magic. So probably there will be some difference. Maybe you see that after one restart or probably by next day, okay? But you will find some changes, all right? So let's quickly start the number one, what you have to do on your Windows PC, either on Windows 11 or Windows 10. Just press Wind Windows and R key and, and here you need to type sysdm sysdm dot cpl and you will be getting this system properties box here you need to click on advanced now in the performance you have to click on settings and this another box will be coming up in the performance options. So by default, this will be checked to let Windows choose what best for my computer and you have to set it to custom. Now here we need to disable few options. On the top three, you see animate control and element inside Windows. Just uncheck this one, uncheck this one and uncheck this one as well. Now in case if you find any major difference and you are not comfortable with that, you can watch my video again and revert the action. Okay. So once these three options are done, then you will find here it shows shadows under mouse pointer, show shadows under windows. You have to uncheck both these options. So the top three one here and these two here. Once done, click on apply. And now here you have to click on the advanced tab. And then here you will find virtual memory. So you have to click on change. And by default, this is set to automatically manage paging file size for all drivers. So you have to uncheck this box and then you need to check on custom size. Here you will get two boxes, initial size and the maximum size. In the initial size, you have to put the recommended one here. So it's 2853, so you can take in the round figure and I can put 2800. In the maximum size, you have to put the double size of your RAM. So let's say if you have the RAM of 4 GB, that makes somewhere like 4000 MB, then you have to put the value that will be 8000. So if you have 2 GB of RAM, so that makes 2000, but you have to make it double, and then here you need to type 4000. How you can check that? So you can pay open the about section on your PC. And now you can see that in my case, I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So that makes 16,000, right? So what I can do, I can put it here 32,000. Okay, but I don't have any problem. So I will leave it, but you can easily do that options. And once done, just type in the value here, whatever the value is. I repeat, this maximum size value will be the double size of your RAM in megabyte. Okay, it's set, then click on set, then click on OK. Now once you click OK, this option should come up. So this makes you sure that the changes that you applied, that really took effect. Okay, if nothing happened, that means you have to decrease the value or either increase it. Alright, so click on OK. And now you can see that the value has been changed. Okay. Everything is once it's done, then click on apply and then on OK. Then click on OK again. Now it will ask you to restart, but we will do that later but after doing everything. So I can do restart later. Now the next setting that you have to do is with the power plan. So for the power plan, you have to type here, choose. And then you will be getting in the suggestion box, choose a power plan. So here you will be getting a couple of options. And uh, if you don't see high performance, then it should be under 
show additional plans so you have to click on the drop down and then you need to choose high performance click on it then click on change plan settings change advanced power settings and this option will be coming up here now just scroll down a bit and in the processor power management click on this box then minimum processor state and in the setting this option should be set to zero and the maximum processor state should be 100 okay once done click apply then okay and we are also done with this part now the next thing what you have to do you just need to close everything now press windows and letter r key all together and type ms config so this will open the microsoft system configuration and now here click on the boot tab then on advanced options now check this box number of processors and from here you need to choose the maximum value okay i'm already using the huge processor so i don't need it in your case if you get the option till four then you have to go with the four and if you get eight then you have to go for eight but you also get the same option as i do like a 16 then you don't have to go with 16 you can either go with 4 or 8. I would recommend that you should go with 4. Okay. Even it shows till 16. So once you are done, click on OK. Then apply and then OK again. This will again ask you for the restart. And we just need to wait because we are still pending but with one more step. So now you have to open your task manager. So once task manager is up. And here you will see an option startup. Click on it here. And here you have to disable all these applications which you don't need while starting your computer like uTorrent, Google Chrome. I don't want that it should come along with my operating system. If I need it, I can manually open it. Now keep in mind this will not disable your application. This will just disable the startup of the application. So I will make a right click on it and just click on disable. Okay. Similarly, if I don't need this one, I will do the same with that. And all those other applications which either I don't identify or I don't need at the startup. Once everything is done, just restart your PC and probably you will find the changes. Okay, so that's all guys. Hopefully this will help you. And if yes, make sure that please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for getting such related videos in the future. Thanks so much.